All right, guys, there is a candidate who is said to be interviewing with the Denver Broncos today that we have not talked about yet mm. on this show, and his name is Raheem Morris. So we've got three minutes on the clock. Zach, I'm going to have you start us off. All right, Raheem Morris, 46 years old, mm. still a relatively young coach, but... He has so much experience in the NFL. He came into the NFL in 2002 with the Tampa Bay Bucks as a defensive quality control coach. Then he became their head coach in 2009, was their head coach for three years a decade ago, and he's only 46 years old right now. He stayed in the NFL after being fired by the Tampa Bay Bucks. Uh, has had a lot of positions, uh, but one of the things that's interesting about Raheem Morris is, yes, he was a defensive coordinator. He is a defensive coordinator now with the Los Angeles Rams, but he has had positions on the offensive side as well. So when we're talking about CEO type of people, people that understand the entire game, people that aren't just going to be keyed in on one certain group, that is Raheem Morris. He was a wide receivers coach, defensive defensive coordinator, head coach at only 45 years old. So he brings tons of experience with only being 45, 46. There we go. And on top of that, he has experience with the Shanahan's, which is a good thing, obviously, but it's even better here in Denver for a bunch of different reasons. Mike Shanahan took him under his wing after he was the head coach there. I went to Washington. Again, this isn't like, oh, he's part of the coaching tree. It was Mike Shanahan said, I saw what you did as a head coach, and now I want to help you out a little bit, teach you a couple things so that next time it'll go even better. From there, he follows Kyle Shanahan and uh, joins the Falcons. Uh, and when you look at how this team is built right now, you might not love that it's a West Coast offense, but... You know, the fact that they use that West Coast terminology, Raheem Morris has a background in that terminology. If he wants to bring in a coordinator who he really has, works well with, who he, he can have at least a little bit of a fingerprint on the offense, it would make sense to bring in that West Coast type of guy who would use a very similar terminology to what the Broncos use right now, which could make the, the transition a lot easier. Yeah, this is the definition of CEO type, but also kind of the definition of the John Fox type of hire. Mm. And I I think that's being taken in a negative way because mm -hmm. obviously the way the things ended with John Fox yeah. weren't pretty. But to be honest, I think it could end up being a really positive thing yep. for the Denver Broncos to find their John Fox. Remember, John Fox was brought in in a terrible time for the Denver Broncos. Yep. After the Josh McDaniels mess, he solidified everything. He got the team moving. He got them respectable. He got them to a Super Bowl. And so... There is yeah, that was a really great rebuild job done by John Fox, and you know Peyton Manning was there too. Um, I'm saying that tongue in cheek, <laughs> uh, but you know it, that is a good thing for me. When you talk to people around the league about Raheem Morris, you hear the same thing over and over again. I think this is a guy who, if he gets another chance of being a head coach, would do a great job. And there's a lot of people out there who who get that put on them, um, but. I, when you hear people talk about Raheem Morris, they really, really drive that in. 